Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Twisted. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're doing a, a review of a comic book issue. And this comic book issue is going to be about the friendly neighborhood of Spider-Man. This is issue one, by the way. And I'm getting back into the to, into comics. And I really like to review all the comic book series that I'm personally enjoying so far. So today, it's going to be friendly neighborhood of Spider-Man issue one. Tomorrow, I'm pretty sure it's going to be about the IDW, Sonic the Hedgehog issue 13. And the day after that is going to be the Detective Comics, I appreciate sure, issue nine, 998, I believe. So let's start off this review. This story picks up with Spider-Man jumping off a building and swinging towards a bridge. Now, the truck was about to drive, drive off the bridge, aka falling to its death, and this bridge is like really high up, like 13 feet up the... It's, gonna, it's, a, it's a huge fall, like a long fall. And in this truck was a kid and a father. Now they were both driving off the cliff of this bridge, and Spider-Man came in, saved them, and they bring them to safety. And the father wanted to tip Spider-Man, but Spider-Man declined and suggested that he should donate money to the poor. And then Spider-Man swims off. A couple hours later, Spider-Man. I mean, Peter Parker comes by his apartment, and I do can't remember this old woman's name, but basically Peter Parker is delivering groceries to her apartment. So he basically he wanted to help her help his this old woman do the old woman's favors, and the old woman suggested that she should visit the apartment number seventy five or seventy six, I believe. Now the reason why she wanted her him to go to this apartment is because he wanted to check on this woman that lives in this apartment that has not left this apartment for the number of days, like oh, a shit ton of days. And plus, he, she thinks that he knows Spider-Man, so he could contact Spider-Man for some help. But of course, we all know that Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker, so Peter Parker actually went to the apartment, knocked on the door, and the old woman did answer. Now this old woman, I like to say, her name is Leilani, I believe. So Leilani and Peter Parker were talking, and Leilani didn't want to leave her apartment. And Peter Parker suggested that they should go get lunch, but Leilani didn't. So Peter suggested that maybe he'll go buy lunch and deliver it to her apartment. And Leilani said, you know what, that'll actually be a great idea. And so Peter Parker left the apartment complex and went towards a restaurant. Now these two people came up and I believe that I don't know these people uh, because I haven't been reading comics too much but I'm trying to get back into it so eventually I'll figure out their names but these two people I can't remember their names basically Peter Parker helped these two people and they want to go buy Peter Parker some lunch so Peter Parker and these two people went and ate Mexican burritos I think and Peter Parker bought some more burritos went back to the apartment complex and I guess went back to the apartment where the old woman is, not the old woman, Leilani is, and he knocked on the door and he went inside the apartment actually, and Leilani was like, oh shit, Peter, Peter Parker's here. And Peter Parker seeing these goons around, not these like, not like criminal goons, like I'm talking like, I don't know how to explain, like henchmen, like professional henchmen, like top hats and crap. Like they were in fancy fancy suits, tie and everything, and a top hat. I'm gonna give I'm gonna get a picture of the comic page so you know what I'm talking about. So Peter Parker didn't didn't want to you know reveal that that he's actually Spider-Man. So his spider sense is going crazy, and the goons punch Peter Parker and they managed to knock him out. During this time that Peter Parker was knocked out, the old woman and some other person I believe woke up Peter Parker, and Peter Parker woke up, and well, let's say that was hours later, hours he got knocked out, so a lot of time, not really a lot, like hours of time has passed, and Peter Parker was going on Leilani's apartment, trying to find some clues to figure out where Leilani went, or where the goons and Leilani went, and so Peter Parker went back to his apartment, now keep in mind, in this, in this issue, Peter Parker does have a roommate, and this roommate is actually a super villain named Boom Boomerang. I, I thought it was a little fun fact, but anyways, let's continue. And so Peter Parker went back to his apartment, and he was changing into the Spider-Man clothes, 
but the thing is in his laundry basket these two kids came out of the laundry basket scared scared spider-man half to death and that's where the issue ends now my personal opinion i really do like this issue i really like how the story is being presented and i really like how it's t telling the story about peter parker and what P peter parker's daily life is so in my personal opinion i really do like this issue i really do like how the story is being presented so i should i should just uh, suggest you go pick up this comic book issue because it's a really good issue it's a really fun time to read and i'm gonna go review issues two and three as soon as three comes out so yeah thank you all so much for watching please leave, like comment subscribe follow me on twitter instagram and snapchat and peace